The normal distribution is a very important distribution in statistics because if we know a variable is normally distributed, we know always what percent of the cases will fall between any two points in that distribution. So for example, in this slide, we know that uh, between the mean and one standard deviation from the mean, 68% of the cases fall. We also know that between the mean and two standard deviations from the mean, 95% of the cases fall. How do we know this information? Well, where do we get this information? We get this from looking at a table of the area under the normal curve. This table represents the area under the normal curve, and it's included in Appendix A of your textbook. To read this table, um, notice that there's a, three columns. Column A refers to the z-score. Column B refers to the area between the mean and some z-score. And column C represents the area more extreme uh, than that z-score. So in the highlighted area here in green, you can see a z-score 1.0 corresponds to 34.13% of the cases fall between the mean and that score, and 13.87% of the cases are more extreme than that score. The two highlighted green areas in the table represent a z-score of 1.96 and a z-score of 2.33. Both of these are very common z-scores used in statistical inference. For the z-score 1.96, if you read across to column B, it indicates that 47.5% of the cases of normal distribution will fall uh, between the mean and 1.96 standard deviations from the mean, and more extreme than that will be 2.5% of the cases. So you'll be in the top 2% if you have a z-score 1.96 or greater. For 2.33, you'll be in the top 1% if you have a z-score more extreme than 2.33. Now let's see how well you can read the normal curve table. Let's assume you had a raw score of 120. When converted to a z-score, it became a z-score of 2.0. So if you wanted to find out what percent of the cases fall between the mean and a z-score of 2.0, you'd look for a z-score of 2.0 in column A, read over to column B, and you'd find 0.4772. If you wanted to find out what percent of the cases were greater than two z-scores or standard scores from the mean, you'd read over in column C and you see that value is 2.28. That's how you read a normal curve table.